Hello again, welcome back to me, myself, and I playing The Darkest Dungeon. That was very difficult not to say The Binding of Isaac after birth, because this is the only game that I am playing on my own besides that. I said we'd rename some characters, so let's do it. Um, obviously, I can't necessarily guarantee that the perceived gender of the character is anything to do with the gender or otherwise with the people who I'm naming it as, so I'm just going to give names to people. Uh, this seems appropriate. This is going to be Miri. Uh, the hound master there. This might as well be Jackery. And then uh, our rogue will be Rakuda. Again, I'm going to probably, if anyone's got a nick that has, you know, some, some flourishes of non-ASCII things, I'm just going to start putting spaces and names and give it some semblance of sensibility as what people might actually be called IRL, rather than, but uh, that's not been a We've already been there. That's not been an issue so far. So, it's time for another mission, I think. It's probably also time that we think about this being our A-team. The problem is we only have seven people, and each mission is four people. So one of these people is going to have to come with us, and it's going to have to be D. Why is it going to have to be D? Because that's the only real healer that we have. Let's have a look at this Hound Master. This is new to me. Hound's Rush is in any of the back three positions. Uh, it bleeds, and it gives us a strong buff against both beasts and marked creatures, which is great, because presumably Raikuda has that mark? No. One of these is a mark. Uh, nope, talking shit. Okay. What else do we have? Target whistle. Mark target. Oh, we've got a mark. And... I think that's a debuff on the target, so they lose protection, which is great, because some things in at least the wield, I think, have such high protection that it's very difficult to do any sort of damage to them besides blight and bleed. So this and this seem to synergize with one another. Then we've got Cry Havoc and Let Loose the Hounds of Miri. Uh, stress Heal plus three, just that, okay. On just us? Or maybe on a target, so I'm not sure. And then Guard Dog guards an ally and gives us 15 dodge. Now, Guard, I think, causes any damage that happens on the target to apply to the, in this case, the dog instead. Uh, okay. And then we've got uh, Jekri is going to be our second Plague Doctor with... This is Disorienting Blast. It doesn't do any damage at all, but it causes a unit to be in a different position and clears all corpses. And stuns. Okay, so we knock something out of the way, we stun it, and we put it in a different position. That can be really useful because although it's not told to us specifically, I believe that enemies' uh, skills have a similar set of sort of you know, restrictions as ours do, i.e. you can only do them from certain positions and they can only target certain people. So if we can knock something out of the way and put it in a position that's really bad out, we could actually completely disorient the entire party by putting two units in the wrong place so that they can't attack us properly. Raikuda has basically the same set as I have, except I have open vein and Raikuda has point blank shot. Now this is great because it knocks back the enemy and it moves us back as well. And we prefer to be in the third or fourth position. So, if we ever end up at the front, we can start moving ourselves backwards, but only from that position. But we need someone in front. Which I... Hmm. Now I think about it, none of these units works well from the front position at all. So we're going to have to take Ed. Because that's the only unit that really works at all from the first position, which is a problem to the extent that Ed's going to end up leveling up beyond the rest of the A-team. But we want to take basically these three. Definitely want to take Miri, because this synergy is new to me and I kind of want to play with it. Uh, it doesn't really matter which whether we take a Plague Doctor, I suppose, or which one, except for that one we can't take. We do need a healer, because early on you're going to take a lot more damage than you can tank. And then... So we should take Ed and D, Miri, and then either Jekri or Raikuda. Jekri works extremely well in the third position. 
but doesn't necessarily have a great set of skills at this moment because, you know, Battlefield Medicine was okay. But none of this does a strong amount of damage, right? This is great. I, seem to, I like this quite a lot. But... Yeah, I think so, actually. The Plague Grenade does a great amount of Blight, as does Noxious Blast. So we've basically got the back two and the front two covered in terms of Plague. And then we can start disorienting if we want to. So let's give that a go. Let's embark on a mission. I should probably start upgrading things in town, but I don't, I don't really care to at this stage. Uh, we want to take a short level one mission. Medium, medium, short, short. Okay. Uh, this is room battle, so we're clearing out the thing here, and this is just ex exploration. Uh, I think we do exploration. Let's let's get rid of you. We want check crew then raccoon or the other way around. Uh, right click, right click, uh, and then yeah, the other way around. It made a noise. I don't know whether that's relevant. Diurnal minus two speed if torch is below twenty six, which is not likely to happen. No stress penalty when walking backwards. You do get a stress penalty for literally walking backwards, but I think you also get one for backtracking over places you've already been. 3% uh, crit on range skills, which is pretty good. I think these count as range. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, Ed has this stun resist charm, but uh, it reduces dodge, which is fine because max HP is pretty high. But I don't think we have any other trinkets. Oh, we do, because we got one. 10% max HP and minus 1 speed. We might as well just go to town on this low speed tank thing. We are going to win a Highwayman Stalwart Buckle. Plus 2% crit, minus 3 virtue chance, and some stress damage. Plus 5% stress damage. I didn't think this Highwayman had a stress inducing attack. Wait. They don't take stress. That means it must cause me to take more stress. Uh, I'm not sure I like that, but we'll do it anyway. Let's throw vision. After this, we will probably start investing some of our money and uh, heirlooms here into improving ourselves and the town as well. I'll only take eight foods, because we did find foods last time. I'll take two keys and two shovels. And you... The medicinal herbs will cause things to become edible if we find things that can be edibilized. We don't really need the bandage because uh, this plague doctor also has the cure skill and these two we get for free. I think this is because we're taking a vestal and this is because we're taking a plague doctor. Which is really nice. I, I very much appreciate that. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to take with us. We've got plenty of inventory space. Which wasn't a problem last time but it can become a problem especially on medium missions. You start to run out of place to actually carry the stuff that you found. Uh, space or click. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. We started off oh, with some scouting, which is really good. And we need to explore 90% of the rooms, which basically means all four of these, and then that way. So we're going to have to backtrack at least once. We might as well take both of these paths, because we know what's on them and avoid maybe this path or this path. So I'm going to go here, because I know there's a battle here and there's no battle there. And since we're brand new, fresh to this world, we're in a better position to take on uh, enemies, I suppose. So, where should we start? Grape Shot Blast, Tracking Shot. We didn't take the Houndmaster, which is uh, a bit of an oversight, but that's okay. We'll take them next time. Pistol Shot on something that we could kill. We did kill. That's <laughs> Excellent start. Unfortunately, that corpse is in the way, but that's okay. That was a lot of damage. These back two obviously don't have quite so much HP. Uh, that's not true. We've all got about the same amount of HP, except for Yon, Yon uh, Crusader over here. Let's get some plague damage on this son of a bitch. Try and get him down. And we might as well start healing straight away, because that's why we brought her along, right? Hopefully, D there won't get too much stress during this mission. It's only a short mission, uh, but we don't want to have our only Vestal locked away in the cloister or something. Mm, we could stun him. It. Yeah, let's try stunning that. Reason is, this four damage per round. If this gets a go at all, it's dead. In fact, let's see. You've got nine HP, so if we can get this to do one, eight, one hit. Oh, it was zero. That's a crying shame. 
That's okay, it's got two stacks of blights on it, so it's gonna be nearly dead in the next round, which is fine with me. And then Judgment can give three to six. I don't really want to use the turn because it's only got nine HP left. So we might as well start taking some HP off of this one at the back. Uh, yeah, we'll do it again. Pistol shot at the back. So that one's nearly dead as well, which is pretty decent. Unfortunately, well, excellent dodge considering that was a cross bolt to the face. Cross bow bolt to the face. Now it occurs to me, in fact, this one's going to die anyway because it's not going to be able to take the next turn because of the blight. So maybe we can... Unfortunately, there's nothing we can really do. We can mark a target. Let's do that. Uh, mark target? What? Which target do we mark? Us! What? <laughs> we can target... Well, I'm glad that I learned that. Let's try this. Let's... Sweet. <laughs> That's amazing. So you've got a stun. And now you're at the front. So I might as well use Divine Grace here, use this turn to get some HP up, because we've still got two actions left. This one's guaranteed to die. Uh, does this do any damage at all? Might as well Grape Shot Blast, that should kill everything. You dodged! You don't dodge that! Okay. We'll just smite you then. It's dodging again. It's dodging. You see this shit? Love the fact that, uh, oh, yeah, of course you get another here. And we don't dodge, no, no, no. I love the fact that you get another... Uh, you get to keep the blight on corpses. They get a shot again. Look, just die. Holy shit, bro. This thing's got like a million dodge skill. Yeah, overkill the shit out of that motherfucker. He deserved it. Uh, tiny, tiny amount of gold. There is a Curio coming up. Now this particular son of a bitch here is likely to investigate curios. Excuse me? How do I... Can I investigate the curio, please? Thank you. Now, you can put things in this slot here to try to remove whatever scariness is in the thing. Let's try holy water. No effect. In that case, I'm going to get you to use it. Useless. That can have good or bad repercussions. Sometimes you can get a good quirk. Sometimes you get a bad quirk. Sometimes you get nothing at all. Okay, now we walk back. <laughs> see this? See how this becomes stressful because we've already walked down this corridor. Uh, you, I believe, one of you, one of the quirks that we had was you don't take stress walking backwards, if you remember. Um, that's not this. That's when you literally walk backwards during the, uh, in this corridor rather than turn around. So you've got 80% chance to disarm the trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. And that'll be some stress relief as well, which is really helpful. If we can keep all this stress down, then we've got a party that we can take on the next mission without having to lock anybody up in somewhere scary. We'll burn that torch straight away. So later on, we'll probably start doing missions that don't actually... might not even take any torches with us. So now we know about the, uh, the the battle here, we can be ready for it. I think this is a holy water thing. Well, I've used it, so I'm just going to open it. Sentimental gifts. Yeah, that's good. That's a 500 gold there and 250 there. Plus the one we've already got, and we should probably keep the torch up. The torch goes down by... <coughs> oh, truth. Excuse me. The torch goes down by an amount. N every time you move one tick along here, so... There's only two things here. So I guess we pistol shot the one we can shoot. Maybe zealous accusation in these two? I mean, we can judgment that. We crit it, okay. That's perfect. That means we don't need to worry about what we do next. That was a stress relief as well, so we should do that more often. By which I mean we should crit more often. Two, okay. <laughs> that was a really easy battle. Not even all our units got a turn, which is probably the best way of going about it, I think. <coughs> and they certainly didn't get to uh, mention. So this is the scouting I was talking about. Uh, we are, in fact, in the ruins, but D here has a Warren Scrounger, so 10% cha scouting at chance. What else do we have? Eagle Eye. So you're the you don't take any stress penalty. Uh, and crit on range skills, which is pretty good, but I don't think we've had that yet. You can go in the cove, which is nice. Scattering, what does that mean? Okay, bad. Obsessed with killing. I think 
sometimes the unit AI can take over from you and do stuff without your permission. So you are going to read this book. Uh oh. Oh, it's okay. It's just stress. <laughs> just stress. Just one third of the way towards completely flipping out. No worries. I think I'm going to start with the Grape Shot Blast and get all these down to, like, because these two are so weak, doing that Grape Shot Blast is taking this thing down to, like, literally half its health. And then play Grenade the two at the back to get some dots on them. Oh, you resisted. Oh, that's no good. So now you're down to half your health. You're going to dodge. You didn't dodge. Not doing this is told. That's the trouble. Grievous injury. Who did we decide that was? Raikuda. And then you're going to zealously accuse these two, which will get rid of them, except leave corpses, which is a problem, but next time you get a go, I think I'll use the scattershot thingy, which disorients everything. I'm going to make sure you're not dead, to the best of my ability. So we'll use disorienting blast on you. Why? The other one has blight on it, which means it's much easier to hit that one than that one, although... We've actually got them into a convenient position anyway, because that also clears all of the corpses. If I shoot you, you will die next turn. Snowy. Correct. And you don't get a go, because you're stunned. This is how a life is taken. And I suppose we just smite it. No, oh, you're doing that thing again. So the Arbalists appear to be really good at dodging melee attacks. Although this, I assume, is a ranged attack, and also... It seems to dodge that pretty well. We crit a heal! That was massive overkill, but a tiny little bit of stress heal is, I suppose, not to be sniffed at. Let's blight that. We can only grape shot blast, which is a shame. <coughs> or we can move. Let's have a look at you. Can you do that? You can do that from the second position. In fact, all your things you can do from the second position. So watch this. I'm going to put you here. Just in case, we need to take another go. To kill this thing. You're going to heal what we got here? 15. You need more healing in general, I think. Yeah, that was really good. So you're gonna smite that. Alright, died. So if that had dodged it, which keeps happening, then I would have been in a position to use the point blank shot with Raikuda here, which would have put Raikuda here and put us back into the position we wanted to be in. You go there. However, we didn't need to. Let's crank on a torch. There's something in here. Dun dun dun. We've also got this uh, minus two dodge thing going on here. They're surprised, which is really helpful because it means we get our entire go. So we can make sure we do as much as possible to these things. <coughs> For example... Man, I really stopped coughing. Oy. For example... We can play grenade these. Or maybe confuse the shit out of them? We'll do that next turn. We'll play grenade them to ensure that they take damage on the next... When they get their go. Might as well heal you. Because you're the only one that needs it. And that's why this unit's here. Now. Damage versus marked. We don't have any markings. Or we can just give ourselves a decent buff but not do much damage. I think we just start attacking. That crit is really good. See, other people can get stress heal when one person crits. Because it's just sort of, you know, it's party, right? Not that sort of party, it's it's a fellowship. Uh, stunning blow might be a good idea. We'll smack that, then when it gets a go, it doesn't get a go. Makes sense? So you take damage, you take damage. Dodge, dodge is very good. Dodge again. Didn't dodge. That's fine. Six damage is not the end of the world, and we've got a heal. Yes, excellent. And then you're stunned. So now, this one's definitely going to die from anything we do to it. You can heal this for five, so you were down by one, but that's okay. Uh, a Grape Shot Blast should do some decent damage to all three of these, provided it hits. It'll definitely kill that one, which isn't going to be overkill, because it's not got a Blight on it. It will bring this one possibly down to... A range where it will die from the next couple of blights, so that's going to be eight, and that's seven. Yeah, it did. That's really good. And then we'll disorientate. You've both got a turn left, so we'll take this one because it's basically because it's got the most HP. Make sure it's down to its. Yeah, there we go. 
stun comes off. You're going to die on your next turn, so you don't get a go next go. So we just have to tank the damage from it, which is done. I think that's a stress attack. And then we'll smite you for a crit. Which is a shame, because only one person benefited. You need to de-stress quite a lot. And then, I suppose... We might as well heal something. Because they're both going to... Four damage, and you've got six left. Well, maybe we could... Do that. Get the blight on it. Now it's got eight damage per round, and it's dead. Uh, or we just use it. Ha! <laughs> okay. Cool. We've not taken too much uh, damage here, to be honest. We're doing really well, except for the stress on on whoever I called that. Yeah, we'll take all that. This is Jack. So Jet Crew's stress is getting a bit out of control. We might have to send him to the uh, to the somewhere or other. What's in here? Ooh. We got blighted. That's okay because we have anti venom. That's worth the uh, worth the effort, worth the the risk, I think. Yep, hunger. We'll eat. We brought plenty of food with us. In fact, we seem to have picked up two more food than I anticipated. So might as well eat two more food, actually. There you go. One HP per food. It's not the most efficient use of food, because when you eat because you have to, um, you get more than one HP for each food. So there's a battle here and a curio here. As long as nobody gets obsessed with this. There's Dull and uninteresting. Sometimes there's a map in those. Where are we? Yeah, we'll, we'll use a torch now, even though it's slightly less than ideally efficient. Now, ooh, surprise. That's really good, because that means you will get a go before they do. And I'm going to... I think we'll start uh, judging these things, actually. Let's get this one down in its HP slightly. And when you get a go, yep, yeah, we will use the disorienting blast on this. To hopefully stun it, but definitely get it out of position. Well, <laughs> it's further away. Not necessarily ideal. Grape shot blast or pistol shot? I think we could use a tracking shot on this, which isn't going to get a go. Now let's let's spread some damage around. Get everything. Oh, fucking hell! I was going to say get everything down a little bit into blight range. That was an excellent crit, and it didn't leave a corpse, which is actually really really good. So you would have done some horrible stress, probably to the one that needed me not to do that. Oh, that's interesting. That moves you back. That hurts. Bleed? No, nothing to resist. That's okay. That's probably the first hit that she's taken all game. So, well, not all game, but all, all this mission. So that's that's really good. You've got uh, a buff. This is a stun resist. It just stops you stun locking them. Whenever you come out of stun, you get a stun resist. Hmm. I expect what we maybe want to do... I'd like to stun it again. But what we could do is... Try and get it into death by blight range. What have we got here? 4 out of 10. That's going to die immediately. So that's actually really good. Uh, we will heal up our new highwayman there. You died. That's very good. Didn't even get a go, which is ideal because... Unforgiving. Oh, you might have got a go. Actually. I was paying attention. I'm just watching somebody else play through my eyes. That's how games work. Wow. That's a lot of damage. But it wasn't uh, damage over time, so that's fine. And this will... Leave a corpse? Yes. That's okay. Uh, maybe we can knock you out. Just in case it's fast enough to get the next turn. Which it wasn't, but that's okay. This is the only thing we can do, which is a shame. But it does give us the opportunity to get another heal off, actually, so... Uh, excuse me. That's probably for the best, because then you will get a go. Then you sun comes off, and then I get a go. And then I hit you. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. It got us the extra heal. And we're nearly done. We only have to do these two rooms. Or is it merely a drink of the light? Nothing in here, which is actually kind of nice. No scout. He says, <laughs> immediately trap. Let's open it. Ah, see, this is a, a green one, so we've become robust. Robust does. Plus 15% disease resist, which is pretty good, because you can get disease reasonably easily. I say reasonably easily. There are things that can cause diseases, and you don't want to have to... Is there nothing in here? 
No, there's nothing in here. Okay, we'll go. Diseases can happen at sort of odd situations, especially in the cove, I think. There's some things that can cause disease in there. We've got a decent amount of stuff here, I think. And you, Chekri, have become a dud hitter. Uh, that's not necessarily too, too big of a deal, but Manslayer is probably quite good for some of the places we can be going, but I think we're going to be sending Jekry to get de-stressed ASAP. In time, what have we got here? You will know the tragic Damn it, Pete. My failings. Seriously. We've got uh, Pete de-stressed, but not completely, which is odd. It's not that odd, but, you know, it's it's unfair. That's what I'm saying. I hate the game. Uh, so, next round, we're probably going to be taking Miri and... Uh, Abomination is pretty good. Wow. I've never seen half of these things. We've got a new Crusader, though, so what we're going to do... Oh, I didn't realise this was here. That's actually really nice. Uh, is we're going to increase the barracks so we can have 12 Word people. Is traveling. Then we're going to have 8. Ambition is stirring in 9. Distant cities. 10. We can use this. So we'd like to get 2 more people so that we've got 3 groups of 4, but that's not necessarily going to work out anyway because the ones that are in for stress relief... No, they're going to be the... the ones we're concerned about when trying to produce a new party. You're in a cloister, which is not ideal. In that case, we'll send D to the pub. No, Jack Rick. Jack Rick can go to the pub, because this is the cheapest one at the moment. We should probably think about upgrading some of this, but at this stage, I'm not entirely concerned. D didn't get any more stress, or at least not significantly. Make no and mistake. here, we've got 13 we grand. Ever we can start rent. upgrading Our what I'm thinking of as the 18 ready. here, so... Like obviously, Ed got some XP from that. So he's going to level up ahead of the other four people. Which I'm only thinking of as the A team because they did really well as the sort of the first four people that we got. So we've got. Which one are we not using? We're not really using Bulwark of Faith. Stressio plus six is okay. But I think. I kind of like Holy Lance. But maybe not on this character because we've got a decent set. Of oh, actually. I'll tell you what. Duelist advance, point blank shot. They obviously synergize with one another. Move forward, move back, right? But if we've got a move back here and we don't really use tracking shot too much. So we could buy point blank shot. Upgrade a little bit to make it a bit cheaper. Yeah, we can. So we could buy point blank shot, which means, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can move backwards from the front position. But if I am in the front position, I don't want to be. Then Ed can have Holy Lance, which will move you forwards from the second position. Also from, actually not from the second position. That was probably a bit of a waste of cash. If we get surprised, we get shuffled up. So Holy Lance can move you into a into the second position from the third position, which is very useful if you end up in the third position. You don't want to be in the third position. And then, if I'm at the front, move forwards, right? Duelist Advance is pretty good as well, but uh, I don't want to spend that much money. You... I want to use this more often, but you have to be in the first two positions. And this is the first three positions, so we're really only ever using the two that we've got here. This is a stun, which I think is very much worth buying, and the party healer is also worth buying. So let's um, let's close out of here and make sure that we've done this right. We're not using these two, but we do want these two. So now we're a full-on healer, and there are trinkets we can get to improve that build. And the blacksmith is the open. Blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. But there's no point having it because we have to upgrade this first. Although we can. I think weapon upgrades is going to be more useful because we'll be doing more damage. We are raising an army. Um, and we've got a pretty well spec healer. So let's do that. We've still got seven thousand left. So I'm specking up our next mission here, which is going to be the the first four. And I think we should probably start thinking about having a sort of a second, sort of an SG two thing going on with. 
No, I don't like that name. That's going to be Psycho. So, Psycho, Miri, Jekri, and Raikuda. Not really got much of a healer thing going on in here. Now, I know that... We have this, which is not great. And you won't go with you, because the pious thing won't go with the... Abomination here. And you don't have any healing anyway. But you're a good tank, so it could be you instead of you. Which would work well. And the mana arms. Crush. These are all damage things, I think. Guard ally. Yeah, there's no healing in that. The trouble is, we haven't found a second Vestal, really. Or a... Um, the... the Eldritch type thingy. I've forgotten the name of. So, we don't really have anything that can heal. But what we can do, we can heal ourselves, I guess, is take a group that basically does a shitload of damage, which is what these seem to be. You're a, you're a heavy hitter. You're a, well, you do have a heal. It's a battle heal, but it's not brilliant. And it can't hit or I think it can't do the person at the back, which is a problem. Uh, so yeah, this is a DPS heavy set of chaps here. So they'll be good for, you know, there's, there's short missions that are just scout. Like these short scout missions, they'll be good for because there's less likely to be combat. With this one, it's A, medium, and B, battles, right? So you have to scout all the places and find all the rooms that have battles in them, whereas this one you can plan out immediately where you're going and hopefully avoid a lot more battles. Makes sense? We've also got the wield unlocks, which is another short one for room battles. Again, having to go you basically have to, in theory, go to every single room and then fight in a lot of them so there's guaranteed a lot of fighting in there, whereas this one is not necessarily quite so guaranteed. We've also got a new trinket. 30% uh, bleed skill chance and 20% bleed resist with a lower dodge. Uh, and I think um, we have Bleed skills on here. There's a bleed skill available here. But we don't have it. We're not really using battlefield medicine, although we could. I kind of like this build because we can knock off any glees and blights that happen to us straight away. Which is a lot better than having to wait till the person who's bled or blighted to have a go and then use one of our only bandages or, or anti venoms. So we'll go back to the, uh, the eponymous estate here. Well, I think we'll leave it there. Um, we've got a good setup for our next mission, which is probably going to be... I might try a medium mission next, just to mix up a little bit. Uh, but until then, if you want to be... If you want to have an abomination named after you, then let me know. I'm going to be running out of names very quickly. Uh, and if you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and subscribe and tell your friends, etc. If you're enjoying this series, I would very much appreciate the feedback. But until the next episode, take care.